In this video, I'm going to show you how to inoculate grain bags inside a still air box and also in front of a flow hood. I'm quickly just going to discuss how you prepare your bags for sterilization in the pressure cooker. Put the grains into the bag and then try to create a nice shape so that the creases along the side are not crinkled at all. So you can see here I'm just trying to make sure the creases are perfect and then once I'm happy with that I start to fold the bag down pushing all the air out and then just tuck it underneath the bag so if you have a look you'll see i'm not sealing the grain bags before they go in the pressure cooker you just want to fold them under and then during the pressure cooker cycle the air will get pushed out and these lips here will seal together you want to ensure the bags are raised quite high up in the pressure cooker so that they aren't sitting in the water. You want to add about 4 litres of water to the pressure cooker because this will be a longer cycle because of the size of the bags. Make sure the way you stack the grains inside the pressure cooker keeps the shape and keeps the top of the bag folded under because you don't want it to lift up and block any of the safety mechanisms and that is honestly the best way to make sure that the bags seal. You want to sterilize these grains at 15 psi for three and a half hours and I have a video on my channel about how to properly use the pressure cooker so if you are still a beginner and you don't know how to do that go over and watch that video. Okay, this is what the grain bag looks like when it comes out the pressure cooker. You can see at the bottom of the bag here is sealed to the bottom of the grains, which is perfect for taking it from the pressure cooker into your still air box. Prepare your still air box by spraying it down with soapy water and then spray everything that goes into the still air box with 70% alcohol solution. So I am going to be doing this inoculation with a blue oyster liquid culture syringe. If you need liquid culture, you can purchase these on my website, which I will pin in the comments below. Most vendors will give you a syringe, as you can see here, with a lure lock on the end and a needle in sterile packaging, which is on the left. The needle on the left is actually already sterile so as long as we can take the needle out of the packaging and assemble it quickly there's no need to flame sterilize the syringe on the first inoculation So just having a look at this grain spawn bag here and the injection port. The injection port's a little close to the floor for my liking. So I just flip it on the other side so that the injection port stands a little bit higher off the ground. I then spray the injection port with alcohol. Normally I wouldn't use a spray disperser inside of a still air box. It's better to use wipes because you're essentially just creating turbulence every time you spray inside of a still air box. When I'm ready to do the inoculation, I quickly remove the lure lock, remove the needle from the sterile packaging and assemble the syringe. I then inoculate straight through the injection port into the center of the grain. I put the lid back on the syringe because I'm about to put it down. I 
The second grain jar doesn't have an injection port, so I'm going to put some micro pour tape where I want to inject. I'm then going to spray the micro pour tape with alcohol. I've prepared the micro pour tape to close up the hole after inoculation, so by putting that within reach. Flame sterilize my syringe outside the still air box. While the syringe is still glowing red, I'm going to return it to the still air box and inject through the micro pour tape. When I remove the needle, I'm then going to cover up the hole with a second layer of micro pour tape. Now that all of the inoculations are complete, I'm going to seal the bags using a reusable zip tie. To do this, I fold the bag down and then in half and then tighten the zip tie. This seals the top of the bag, leaving no tiny spaces or anything. This time I'm going to be showing you how to do it in front of a laminar flow hood or a fan filter unit as I am using here. So these bags I sealed earlier using an impulse sealer and first thing you're going to want to do is raise the grains up off the ground using a wire rack so that the actual sterilized grain is in front of the filtered air. I'm going to be reusing the syringe that I was using before and I'm just going to flame sterilize it before use again. You want to make sure that your bags are not blocking the airflow, so make sure that they take up as little surface area as possible. When you come to inoculate your grain spawn, don't allow the grain spawn bag to block the airflow so if you're injecting coming in from this side then you're essentially blocking off the airflow with your bag so what you want to do is either turn it to the side or you want to turn it facing up and I'll show you again when I actually go to do the inoculation.
So we're going to create a little burrito here, making as little surface area as possible. Make sure the grains are nice and tight. And you can see just positioning the injection port into the airflow where it's not being obstructed. Flame sterilize the syringe and inject. Hold the syringe in its own airflow and then move on to the next bag. I haven't positioned my bag in the best position to just go and do the next inoculation, so I probably should have organised my workspace a little bit better before starting the inoculations, but there we go. Same position again with the second bag flame sterilize the needle and inject the liquid culture. The syringe gets stuck in the bag here, so I just have to pull it out by hand. Never seen that happen before. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Hopefully this has been helpful and I'll see you next time.